when I first went to school, I was going to be a physical therapist for the Green Bay Packers, not even the Buffalo Bills, which is crazy. I grew up a Packers fan, my dad's a Packers fan, and I did one rotation in <laughs> physical therapy and I said, nope, not for me. I had one professor, her name was Dr. Cascino, and her daughter had stage four neuroblastoma at the time. And I got to meet her and she was just so full of life. Her name was Janie. I remember saying, why her? Why somebody so young? I don't understand why this could happen. Nothing runs in our family. It was just a bad mutation that happened somewhere along the line. I had a class with Dr. Cascino and it was for seniors and I was a freshman, but I had to take it because it was so interesting to me. I remember being in her office hours just asking all these questions. What is pharmacokinetics? What is pharmacodynamics? What's pharmacogenomics? And it was how these therapies are being processed throughout your body and how we're all different. And I said, I need to go into this. So I transferred schools immediately. I told my advisor, who is my best friend now, I'm going to solve brain cancer. And he laughed at me <laughs> because that's a big feat to do. If I'm having a bad day, let's say I have a bad day teaching or something happens, I remember that I went into this for Janie. I didn't go into this for me. I went into this for kids like Janie and I wanna make a difference in their lives one day. That's where my driving passion is for kids like Janie, kids that are sitting in Cincinnati Children's right across the road here. If I can prevent these adverse drug reactions that my friend's son had, if I can even help somebody who may have the stage four, at least have a more quality of life, that's what I'm here for and that's what I do. And really that's what pharmacogenomics is.